can see, uh, we've uh, moved on a bit. So in the last one, uh, we just did the front forks. So let me see, I've done the front wheel. Uh, I did film it, but it really wasn't any different from uh, the one I did on the back. So uh, well, uh, I didn't uh, bother using it. So I've done is done the uh, front brake levers and uh, the mud guard on there. Picked out some of the details and done the speed at the front and then connected up there the brake cables for the front and rear brakes. So this is basically just done in the aluminium, um, along with this, uh, the brake lever that's in chrome, just picked out this uh, details in, in copper. So you can see it's uh, going to look like a proper bike now. So the next bit really is doing the, uh, the fuel tank. I've primed that in white, well, sort of. Um, and other bits and pieces that will come around with the uh, cowling. As well, I haven't browned this yet. So this will be all done in the aluminium with black on the inside. And let me reach across, got this seat. So with this, I've drilled out the holes for the studs that go in. Well now again it'll be this will be just red and they'll pick those out. And what else have we got? Uh, little radiators on there so we'll uh, lift that back here as I say. We're going to look quite a lot quite a lot like a bike now. So we'll come back when I've done a bit more with the um, bits and pieces on the cowlings because um, what these what I need to do is got the rivet sets which will replace these parts so uh, what I'll have to do I think I'll drill them out first paint it and then obviously fit the uh, the rivets later so we'll uh, see how that works out I'll film it if it's any good I'll show you uh, if it's not, I'll just show the uh, the results. Um, so we'll leave it there, and uh, see you in the next bit. I just thought I'd quickly show um, what I've worked out to remove the uh, mold rivets. Is just fouling, basically fouling the top off molded rivets. So we know where the uh, they are. Basically, just. Drilling through the 0.5 mil hole. So let's make sure it's in the middle. Drill away. Uh, once you got the through, hole through, just file the rest of the uh, rip it off and polish up. Just get the dust out of the hole. There you go. So that's ready for the. Uh, What's still being painted? Let's be ready for the uh, rivet. So I just need to do that on the other five on there. I've already done a couple of pieces. Sorry about that. I've done this one with the uh, six off there and. Oh, 
put on these bits, two of those. Also what I've done is well put the rivets on the seat. They're quite easy. Turn a bit of super glue. Push them into the tiny little hole that's already in there. You can make it slightly uh, bigger with a drill bit. Fairly fiddly, as you might imagine. Put the fog on it. Looks really effective that. So what to do is just move on, get these uh, other parts done. So I need to finish this one off. And then we can do and become out the tiny little ones all around the top. Where the fair the uh, windscreen fits. Can't really see them on there. Love thing about white. So anyway, they are those six little rivet holes on there. There you go, there's one. So I've got to drill those off as well. And then we'll uh, do some priming and things and see how we how we get on. So I'll do, um, so there isn't much to show, so I'll we'll drill a couple more holes, pry the tops off, more holes, prime and then spray up. So uh, we'll come back, um, we'll come back when I'm putting these on, uh, you don't really have to see me spraying everything, okay, so, but we can, uh, a little bit. Okay, so as you can see we've uh, moved on quite a lot. Um, Places just kept popping up and doing bits and pieces and then uh, just before this I thought I haven't filmed anything. So anyway, apologies for that. So where are we up to? We'll start from the back. So I've done the rear of the back in the red with the detailed studs around there and around the top of the seat and also on the cowling. So these are the detailed studs. And underneath, and little ones around the top here. They all think they're really good, though. Very easy to do, as is a from the last clip. Basically, drill a little hole, keep it clean, and then clean it up again just with the uh, drill bit before you put them in. Top of CA glue on the back seems to have held them. And we've done some decaling, it's got the Honda badge, and the silver strap along the top. And the yellow swish there and green patch and the white part, part of the front. It's got a couple of little creases there, I'll uh, keep working on those and see if we can get those to go. Um, so basically got the number to put on, so we'll be using the 16 for Mike Hellwood and little Honda logo on there. So when I've done those we'll come back and that'll probably be it. So uh, we'll do a bit of a recap on uh, what we've done on the, uh, the detail parts. So apologies for not showing more of what we've done, but uh, as you can see, it's uh, looking really good, I think. So anyway, I can a bit when I finish the decaling. Well, here we are with the uh, finished model. Um, so I've finished all the decals. I've got uh, 16 for my Hillwood, put the Honda part on, and uh, the front screen. So, what have we done? Well, the kit itself, um, as I've done before, is lovely and detailed. You can see the engine in there and the clutch plate. So, the detailed parts, so we have the clutch plate and front forks, the wheels, the front and back spokes, the chain, and the rivet sets. I think they do, they are worth getting um, to detail your model. It does really make uh, a good bit of difference, especially the, the rivets, you might think they uh, you wouldn't notice, but I think they come out really well. On the edge of the cowl there, and it has around here and underneath. Just that extra bit, uh, so around the seat, and these three on the back part as well. We get quite a bit of photo etch with the uh, the model. Um, for example, these parts on here are all uh, photo etch. Um, and all the various bits around the other model that come up. This is a bit in there. Photo etch as well. So 
So definitely recommend this model. Um, definitely go for the, uh, the T-top set if you can get it uh, all right. As I showed at the beginning of the, uh, the whole uh, series where I got the uh, T-top sets from. Um, Japanese pliers, I think I was can't just remember, I've lost, misplaced the, uh, the information. So do the wheels, a bit tricky, um, but you get into a flow and you can get a uh, good bit of a rhythm going on there. Front forks, probably the simplest part to do. Um, the only thing tricky about these is um, with the model part, you don't fit this part on until you put all the cowling on it, sort of uh, slots into the part of the bulb. But they're doing the, uh, the front forks, so they're all screwed together, it's harder to get on. So basically, what you end up doing is sort of pulling this, the cowling out slightly and sliding over the top. But as you can see, <coughs> excuse me, but as you can see, you can get it in and all the wiring and everything. Uh, the chain, that was the fiddliest bit for me, um, but again, it is worth doing because you get a lot of detail in there. So, impressions are brilliant model, do go out and get it, even if you just do the basic the basic kit. No, it's not working. This is the best thing about this kit, the, uh, the stand. Basically it doesn't. So yeah, go and do the model, do the detail parts if you want to, um, but it does make a much better model. So, as I say, we'll leave it there with Honda RC166 GP Racer uh, with a Mike Haylord uh, livery. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, I'll have another build up fairly soon. I haven't decided exactly what it is, but I think it's going to be another bike. Okay, thanks for watching. Thank you.